This will be a demonstration of how to connect power supplies to your Green Dungeon Alchemist brand sound machine like this one. There is a typical power supply connection with two terminals with the positive one marked with a little red cross. That one, oop, my lab's a bit ramshackle as you can see and everything is falling apart. Um, some of them don't have a red cross, some of them just have an indentation like that one, an indented cross. I'm not going to specify any voltages because I don't want anyone to get mixed up. The specific voltages for each device will be specified, you know, along with it. So that's one of the things you have to take into account for your power supply, the voltage. Next is the current. 100 milliamps will be fine. You know, anything greater than that, excellent. It'll just be better. But you don't have to go for one of these super, you know, 10 amp power supplies. That's a bit overkill. The next thing you have to take into account is the polarity. Most devices have con protection against reverse connection. However, you shouldn't connect it backwards. Just try and avoid that. This is your standard AC to DC adapter. And all you would do is cut off the little plug from the end. I think I might have a plug around here somewhere. Yeah, cut off the little plug from the end. You don't need that. And strip the wires down to the copper. And just connect those directly to the bolts of the terminals. But then how do you find the polarity, you say? Well, you can use many different things. You can use a multimeter, set it to the voltage range, and then just test it, see if it's, you know, if, the, if on an analog meter, if it goes up, then that one's connected to positive, that one's connected to negative, if you've got that one going into common, and that one going into voltage. Um, the correct term for negative, though, in this case, is ground. That's the proper electronic terminology. Um, so yes, you can use a multimeter to find the polarity, or you can use a diode, and you would connect that you know, a little tiny component like that. You would connect that, oh, I don't know, in series with, say, a resistor and some kind of output transducer, like an LED, or a light bulb, or a motor, or a fan. It could be anything. So what I'm going to do here is just take this diode and twist it onto a resistor, because I'm using an LED, and LEDs require resistors, like that. And then I'm going to take the LED, and hopefully I won't fuck this up. Let's see. That one goes there, so that one goes here. And I'm not even soldering this. That's how easy you can make your little polarity finding circuit. I'm just twisting the things together. And now, if we plug in this power supply and take care not to connect it back, you know, not to uh, connect it together and create a short circuit. We'll be able to find the polarity of it using this diode. I'm just going to connect it like that. And if this lights up, there we go, you can see it's lit up. That means that the side of the diode with the line on is pointing towards the ground connection and the other side is pointing towards the positive. The little side with the line on is called the cathode. So that's how you can find it using a diode. But the LED itself is a little diode. So if you connect a resistor to your LED, which is required, otherwise it creates a short circuit and gets a bit explodey. If you connect the resistor to the LED, then the little flat side of the LED, you probably can't see it, but an LED has a flat side and that will point to ground if it lights up. Now, I'll connect it the other way, and you'll see that it won't light up. You see? Nothing. So that's that's connected backwards. We're connecting it this way. The flat side will denote the ground connection. I'll just unplug that. It's also a good idea to mark your positive wire with a bit of tape or something like that, like I've done there. And there we go. That's pretty much everything. Yep completed my list of things to do in the video. Okay, I hope that helps you find the polarity of your devices or of your power supplies for your devices. Can you tell I didn't write a script?